Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is great to have you back. My name is not Ian Sands, and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. I shaved my beard and now my neck looks fat. Never mind that. Of course we're back today with another very exciting lesson. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the handwritten text effect in After Effects, and it works with any font. And it works with any font. And it works with any font. It even works with doodles, too. Oh, that's cute. This effect obviously works great if you're trying to get the handwritten font type handwriting feel. Works great for lower thirds and intro titles and basically anything you want to be hand drawn on screen. A little shameless self promotion before we jump into this lesson. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter. I'm doing it for two reasons. One, it's really easy to direct message me and share images and videos with me if you have any specific questions. And two, I'm trying to beat all my coworkers in the Twitter follower contest. Logan has like 7,000 something followers. I only have like 300 something. So if you're watching this video and you have a Twitter account, make sure that you follow me at Naughty and Sands on Twitter. Hit me with a tweet, hit me with a DM. I'm really active on there trying to answer questions and a uh, little shameless self-promotion, trying to get my Twitter game up, you know? <laughs> I hope I can get my numbers up. All right, enough of that bullshit. Open up After Effects because we're getting started. First, we're going to go up to our title tool, click down here on our composition, and I'm just going to write hello. And I've got some uh, cursive-y type handwriting font here, which is called Notera Personal Use Only. Well, I guess this is personal, I don't know. If you guys wanna go and browse dafont.com, uh, that's a great website for free fonts, so uh, go there. We're just handwriting all over the place today. All right, so I've got my text written out. It says, hello, nice, we're gonna center it up in our composition. And then with our text layer selected, we're gonna come up to the pen tool right up here, and I'm just gonna zoom in. And basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is trace your text with the pen tool as if you were writing it. So I'm gonna start here. And I'm just going to make this come through here just like this. Loop de loop. And we're gonna end right through here. And now to start a new mask, you're gonna hold down Command or Control and then click to start a new mask. So now I'm starting a second mask for this line of the H. And we're out. Nice. So once you've got your text traced, you're gonna come up to Effects and Presets. You're gonna type in Stroke and we're going to drop a stroke right onto our text layer. Then we're gonna come up here where it says masks. You're gonna click on this little checkbox that says all masks, and then we're gonna change our color to something a little bit more visible, so maybe make it like a blue. And we're gonna turn up our brush size, and as you can see, it starts like covering our text, and that's exactly what we want for now. So basically, you're gonna to wanna to get this so it's just over the width of the text, right? So I'm gonna go a little bit over just so it's covering it. And then what we're gonna do is come in here and adjust our mask so that no white is showing, or whatever color your font is. You may have a different color font. Mine is white, so we're gonna make sure that there's no white showing just by tweaking these a little bit throughout the course of this mask. All right, looking pretty good. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is come up here and we're gonna change this from on original image to reveal original image. Ooh, very nice. The mask will go away. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate our end point here. So I'm gonna click a keyframe right here at zero, zero. And I'm gonna come over here to maybe like a second and a half. And I'm gonna set another keyframe, hit U on your keyboard to activate keyframes. Set another one there. And now I'm gonna set my beginning keyframe from 100% down to zero and now, you'll see that this nicely writes out. Now, if I pause it here, you'll see that where we have intersecting lines, it gets a little strange. Uh, there's no good way to avoid that, unfortunately, especially if you're using a cursive font. If you're using something that's a little bit more blocky, it's way easier to get around this. But with a cursive font, you kind of have to deal with it. But I'm gonna show you a way around it right now. Let's navigate over to our effects and presets, and we're gonna type in force and drop in a CC force motion blur right on your thing. And what that will do is it will actually cause the stroke to motion blur because if you use the motion blur layer over here, it won't actually do anything because the text itself isn't moving. So you have to force it. Never force anything guys, always ask permission. So now that we've dropped force motion blur on there, we can change our shutter angle to make the motion blur more or less intense. So I'm gonna turn it uh, maybe down into like the 130 range and you can crank up your motion blur samples if you'd like. This will make it more smooth or less smooth. As I raise it, you'll see that it starts to get more smooth, but that will take up a little bit more CPU, I would imagine, because you're doing way more samples. I'm gonna set it to 40, and now when we play this back, a lot less noticeable in the chunkiness. And like I said, this works for all fonts. So if I were to delete this, and I were to write hello again, it will work just the same. Brilliant! This will work on fonts. This will work on your own handwriting if you take a picture of it, delete the background, and then do the exact same thing. And it also works on doodles. 
Oh, there's that guy again, still cute. All you have to do is make a mask path, then animate the mask path to reveal the original image, and voila, you have your own handwritten custom font animation thing that you did yourself, congratulations. Try it out on other stuff, don't just copy me. Use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to do your own cool thing. That's the number one rule of this channel. Well, that about does it for me, guys. Nice short and simple one today. Valuable knowledge indeed. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'm trying to beat my coworkers in a Twitter follower contest. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that button. And if you haven't seen last week's video, click that one. One of these buttons. It's interactive. YouTube's interactive. You have the power to click that one or that one. Subscribe first and click that one second. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma. I'll see you next time.